With the second pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions take wide receiver Calvin Johnson, Georgia Tech. Johnson, six foot five, with speed of 4.38. Now, I know those are numbers, but those are not usually the numbers that you put together with a receiver at six foot five. So there's Calvin in the green room, and we saw the reaction in Detroit. A great moment. I mean, can we put ourselves back in the position of these young men? They've dreamt all their life about playing pro football. Now they're here in New York. Whatever team it is, Keyshawn, and there you go. You remember this deal. Well, they, you know, if the, if the Detroit Lions hold on to Calvin Johnson, they got something special. I just don't believe that they will. You can't get a guy like this. He's better than any other receivers that they have right now. He'll be a pro bowler in Mike Martz's system in the next couple years. But I know Coach Marinelli loves defensive players, and he wants to build around defense. But if they hold on to him, he'll make John Kittner or whatever quarterback they take in the second round a much better quarterback. Well, they certainly play. You know what? Maybe here's something to think about. As the photo op, maybe they're going to line up all wide receivers. Try it. Be some good razzle-dazzle <laughs> play. Boise State did it. Well, Just the thought. question you have to ask yourself here, if you're a Detroit Lion fan or anybody listening out there, and you're talking about a guy and watching, that why not a quarterback? Why not Brady Quinn here? When this whole thing unfolded, we knew Oakland was picking one, and we knew Detroit was picking two. I said, oh, Russell's perfect for Oakland, and Brady Quinn's perfect for the Detroit Lions, and Mike Martz. Tough, smart kid. Mike Martz is going to love this guy. And you look at Calvin Johnson instead of Brady Quinn. Calvin Johnson, as we said, physically gifted. Russell at quarterback, unbelievable off the charts physical ability. Calvin Johnson at wide receiver. You see him here like a power forward in the NBA. Those smaller cornerbacks have no chance. The great hands, the ability to separate is something everybody thought big receivers can't separate. They have their first out of their break. They don't have the issues. They have problems in terms of things at the pro level that will hamper them a lot. Guys that We've talked about Mike Williams. That factor, I think, will affect perception if Calvin Johnson doesn't pan out big. He should be dominant. If he's not, every big receiver that comes along, Deshaun, from now on, is going to be scrutinized. You can see him here adjusting to a poorly thrown ball. He had to do a lot of that during his career at Georgia Tech. As I said, four games this year, only three receptions or less. He should have been dynamic every game. You see the ability there, a little hesitation move, then wide open in the hands. The long arms are amazing. Cornerbacks 5'9", 5'10", 5'11", should have no chance against Calvin Johnson, Steve. For a moment, throw away the whole physical prowess that he has. I'm just talking about his character. I talked to an offensive coordinator that interviewed him in the pre-draft time, and he said that he pushed him on why he didn't catch more balls over the across the field. Why didn't you come across the field more? And he pushed him on why, in a, and instead of kind of selling out his, his quarterback, Reggie Ball, who had trouble seeing over linemen and throwing those balls, he never did. He kept saying, look, I, and I, 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 I played what I got. I took the, run, the passes that I got. I never went against it. And he never sold out anybody. He was just, he got pushed on it, and the, and the coach was actually looking to see if he would sell out one of his teammates, and he never did. This kid, you got to put it in perspective. You have the body type of Terrell Owens. Think of what Terrell Owens does on the field. You have the ability at the long ball with Randy Moss and jumping and catching those balls and timing and everything else of Randy Moss. And then you have the character <coughs> and work ethic, and I hate to say this because I played it for many years, of Jerry Rice. This is that kind of a kid. If, he, if they do trade him to Tampa, whoo, 